Crown Street featured the four-story library which had won a swag of architectural awards for its unique and sustainable design. Elena always liked the spiral staircase, which looked like a white ribbon twirling down from the main floor to the lower level and was bathed in natural light. The computer lab ran along the back wall, a long, narrow space lined with computer keyboards and screens affixed to metal soundproofing panels. They split up the tasks. Rick checked on what he knew of Mario's business name and searched for him under several registers related to accounting and accountants. He wanted to find the location of Mario's office. Elena focused her research on Mario Vincente and his history, not only that which related to his business activity, but also any complaints, legal issues, and affiliations that she could find. They keyed away, sitting at adjoining stations. Rick was near the entry to the computer space. He routinely checked over his shoulder, following his own adage of being aware of one's surroundings. Two men caught his attention, sitting on short stools in the last row of the collection. One man was of a hefty build, maybe even on the chunky side. The other was his direct counterpart, thin and wiry, with a short, pointed nose. Laurel and Hardy taking a break at the Surrey Hills Library.